I'm Georgie and I'm going to show you how to make salt dough Christmas decorations for the tree. Okay, so you will need flour, it doesn't matter which flour, salt and water. Really simple. So first of all, you need three deciliters of flour. One and a half deciliters of salt. So one and half. Yeah, and then you can mix that together. flour and the salt and then you add one and a half deciliters of water so first I will do one and I will add it slowly and mix as I go along So then the mixture starts to get doughy. Sometimes you might need to add a bit more water if it's looking too dry or a bit less if it's getting quite wet. So this one is still quite dry so I will add a little bit more. Don't worry, you can always add more salt, uh, more flour or water if it's looking too dry or too wet. And then you should get the right con doughy consistency. Yep, so you want it to stick together and form a kind of ball shape. Okay, and then just um, roll it in your hands until you have a nice dough shape. Okay, there we are. All right, then you can put the bowl to the side. Take a small bit of flour, just a sprinkle on the table. going to roll it out in order to make the shapes. So here you can, it's quite sticky onto your fingers, no worries. All right, now you have a nice dough ball. Okay, then you want to flatten it. roll it out as flat as it will go. You don't want it too thick but then not too thin either. Maybe a couple of centimeters, a bit less. There we go. And then you can take your cookie cutter shapes. I have a Christmas tree, a star and a bell. It makes, this mixture makes at least over 10 shapes, depending on how big your shapes are. And then cut out your, so we have one tree, one star, and a bell. All right, so yeah, 
you can use the rest to make more. Okay, so when you have made your shapes, don't forget to make the hole at the top for the thread, uh, the ribbon to go through. I've used, I'm using a chopstick because it makes a really nice small hole. There we are. Once you've made the holes, you can take a baking tray, put your shapes on, bake them in the oven on a low temperature, 125 degrees, um, for one hour. So they cook really slowly. All right, so after an hour, they will come up like this. They will rise a little bit, but that is fine. Just let them cool down. So and when they're ready, you can take the shapes and paint them. You can paint them any colors you want, and you can also add the ribbon or string or whatever you want to do. And here I have written the year that they were made. And then you can hang them onto the tree. And then you have a tree, um, a decoration for your tree. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, goodbye.